Bernard Breslau was a humorous English actor who was best known for being a member of the Carry On franchise team. He also appeared on television and stage, recorded music and wrote a series of poetry. Breslau died suddenly of a heart attack on the 11th of June 1993. In his dressing room, he had collapsed before playing Grumio in The Taming of the Shrew production of the new Shakespeare Company. In June 1993, his ashes were interred at the Calder's Green Crematorium in North London, where he was cremated. Peter Sellis was an English actor, comedian and singer. He first gained recognition in the BBC radio comedy series, The Goon Show. He starred in a number of hit comic songs and became well known to a worldwide audience through his roles in numerous films, such as Chief Inspector Cluso in the Pink Panther series. Sellers arrived in London from Geneva on the 21st of July 1980. His next stop was at the Calder's Green crematorium where his parents' ashes were interred. He was planning to attend a reunion dinner with his goon show partners Milligan and Seacum on the 22nd of July. Sellers collapsed shortly after eating lunch in his hotel suite on the day of the dinner. On the 24th of July 1980, just after midnight, he passed away after a heart attack at the Middlesex Hospital London, aged 54. In the first half of the 20th century, Welsh actor, playwright, singer and composer Ivor Novello became one of the most popular British entertainers. Most of his early success came from songwriting. His first big hit was Keep the Home Fires Burning, which was immensely popular during the First World War. Alfred Hitchcock directed two silent films starring him, The Lodger and Downhill. Novella died suddenly of a coronary thrombosis at the age of 58, hours after performing The King's Rhapsody. His ashes are buried beneath a lilac bush at the Calder's Green Crematorium. Mark Bolan was an English musician, singer and songwriter, most famous for being a member of the T-Rex. Bolan died in a car crash two weeks before his 30th birthday. In the decades that followed, he inspired many later acts with his musical contributions as a guitarist and songwriter. As a member of T-Rex, Bolan was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame posthumously in 2020. Keith Moon played drums for the rock band The Who. 
Aside from his unique playing style, he was known for his eccentric and often self-destructive behaviour and his addiction to drug and drugs and alcohol. Critics and musicians alike continue to praise Moon's drumming. In 1982, Moon was inducted into the Modern Drummer Hall of Fame, becoming the second rock drummer to be inducted into the hall, and in 2011, Rolling Stone readers voted him the second greatest drummer in history. As a result of his lifestyle, Moon's health and reliability declined. Moon ingested tranquilizers and brandy at the Cow Place in Daly City, California at the Hughes debut, sh- debut show during the 1973 Quadrophenia tour. Moon collapsed on his drum kit during the concert and was carried off stage. Eventually, an audience member stepped up to play the drums and completed the show. Harry Nielsen leased flat 12 at Nine Curzon Place to Moon during the mid-1978. Cass Elliot of the Mamas and Papas had died there four years earlier at just 32. Nielsen was apprehensive about renting the flat to Moon, believing it was cursed. Townsend assured Moon that lightning wouldn't strike twice. At the flat, Moon began taking medications to ease the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal after moving in. Due to his fear of psychiatric hospitals, he wanted to get sober at home. A physician, Jeffrey Diamond, prescribed the pills without knowing Moon's lifestyle. Moon was prescribed a bottle of 100 pills by Diamond. He instructed him to take one pill when he felt a craving for alcohol, but no more than three pills a day. By September 1978, Moon was having difficulty playing the drums. In the studio, Moon was overdubbing drums for the Kids Are All Right, but after a few hours, he was so sluggish that he could barely hold a drumstick. Paul and Linda McCartney hosted Moon and his girlfriend, Walter Lax, at a preview of the Buddy Holly story on the 6th of September. In Covent Garden, Moon and Walter Lax dined with the McCartneys at Peppermint Park before returning to their flat. After watching a movie, he asked Walter Lax to make him steak and eggs. Walter Lax declined this and in response, Moon exclaimed, If you don't like it, you can F off. He then took some prescribed tablets. The following afternoon, Walter Lax found him dead. Moon was cremated on the 13th of September 1978 at Golders Green Crematorium in London and his ashes were scattered in the Garden of Remembrance. Barbara Windsor was an English actress. She appeared in nine Carry On films where one of her best known scenes was in Carry On Camping where her bikini top flew off during an outdoor aerobic exercise. In 1994, she joined the cast of EastEnders as Peggy Mitchell and remained on, in the series on and off till she was killed off in 2016. Barbara is also known for her private affairs. She's had a one-night stand with Reggie Cray and an affair with his older brother Charlie Cray. In 1964, she married gangster, nightclub owner and convicted criminal, Ronnie Knight. Barbara went on to sleep with her Carry On co-star, Sid James, who was also married. He became infatuated with her and became suffocating. When Barbara broke it off with him, he turned to drink and died of a heart attack. Her other encounters included the famous footballer George Best, amongst many others. Barbara divorced Knight in 1985 and she went on to marry Stephen Hollings in 1986 and divorced him in 1995. She then went on to marry recruitment consultant and actor Scott Mitchell in 2000. Barbara was a much-loved British actress who was well known for her cheeky laugh and her shouting Get out of my pub! in her East End accent. In April 2014, Windsor was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She chose to tell her friends and colleagues, but did not want to make the condition public until later on.
Sadly, Barbara died on the 10th of December 2020, aged 83, and she was cremated at Golders Green Crematorium.